We continue to follow breaking news this morning out of South Nashville. Two masked gunmen robbed a motel. News Channel 5's Deja Knight on the scene of this story now. And Deja, this is a pretty scary situation, and they made off with the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. In the security guard's car, it all happened right here behind me at the La Quinta Inn. What the scariest part is, though, they had three people tied up, the clerk, the guard, and a guest. This all happened around 3 a.m. this morning. You can see here that a police officer still on the scene. We're told that two men came inside. One of them had a gun, and uh, at first they got the clerk to try and get the safe. She couldn't get the safe, so then after that, that is when a guest came downstairs. Then the security guard came downstairs. They tied all three of them up. They finally got that safe. They put it into the security guard's own vehicle and took off, and they are armed and dangerous. According to police, here is the description that they gave us of who they're looking for. Two black males, both with dreadlocks, one wearing an orange shirt and the other wearing all black, carrying a dark colored handgun. They were last seen driving away in that truck, like we said, a silver Ford F-150 with Nitro Nation written on the side. The license plate number is 241-TQZ. Now, if you do see this truck, you are asked not to approach the vehicle because, like we said, they are considered armed and dangerous and said, Call 911 as soon as you do see them. Uh, very scary situation out here right off of I-65, uh, Steve. But, of course, we'll keep you up to date and let you know if any arrests are made. We'll send it back to you. Deja, thanks for the update there. An apartment complex up in Clarksville under quarantine after the discovery of a meth lab. You know it's a problem when people dress like this show up at your place. Drug task force agents found the lab yesterday inside an apartment on Baltimore Drive. All six units of that complex had to be quarantined. The agents arrested these two men, 47-year-old Joseph Fox and 28-year-old John Ketter. Both are facing meth manufacturing charges. Also new this morning, a Benton County man facing charges in the death of his girlfriend's seven-month-old son. Joseph Hilliard's mom called 911 Friday after finding him unresponsive. He was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. TBI special agents began investigating immediately, and they took out arrest warrants for Wesley Yates for the murder and abuse of the infant. He was arrested in Humphreys County. He's being held in Benton County right now without bond. A dangerous gun battle played out on the streets of North Nashville in a quiet neighborhood yesterday. Two groups of men, possibly gang members, were told by police, were in cars and just started firing at each other. It was in a residential neighborhood just off White's Creek Pike. One man was hit. He managed to get up and actually steal a car from a woman who witnessed the whole thing. He got on the, on the driver's side of my car and pulled up here, and then I heard gunshots. So he apparently was shooting at whoever he was retaliating against. The man drove about a block, then he got out of that car. Metro police say the person who was shot went to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Two men wanted for a deadly shooting are now behind bars this morning, and police are looking for a third. A grand jury indicted Alexander Vance and two brothers, DeMonte and Joshua Manice, on murder, assault, and robbery charges on Friday. They say that those three shot and killed Stephen Milliken the day after Christmas two years ago. Milliken met those three to sell them some stereo equipment, but then they tried robbing him. He took off running and was shot in the head. Joshua and Vance were already in custody on unrelated charges. Police are still looking for DeMonte, however. If you have any idea where he is, and there's his picture, Call Metro Police Crime Stoppers at 74 Crime. Happening today, the AMP Citizens Advisory Committee gets an update on the proposed rapid transit project for Nashville. They'll get a chance to look at the design for AMP stations and share some comments. It's been controversial. The meeting will also review the downtown and midtown portions of the AMP route where there has been some public outcry. It's happening from noon until 2 o'clock at the Public Library downtown on Church Street. The city of Clarksville just received a $1.6 million grant to buy some new hybrid electric buses. The Leaf Chronicle telling us the city plans to replace three of its older and less green diesel buses with a TDOT grant. 
In addition to the funds for the new hybrid buses, the city also received about $275,000 to expand transit service between Clarksville and Nashville. Well, the company that makes vacuum cleaner brands like Hoover and Dirt Devil and Auric expanding in Cookville, TTI Floor Care announcing it's adding more capacity to the Putnam County facility. Supporting new product lines is expected to create some new jobs to about 200 over the next five years. That is double the current workforce. TTI says it's expanding in Cookville and it will draw down production in China and Mexico. Metro Nashville Public Schools need you. They're trying to hire additional cafeteria staff to keep up with a big demand. The district is hosting a job fair today. It starts about two and a half hours from right now, about two hours from now at 9 o'clock. It runs until 3.30 at the Martin Center, 2400 Fairfax Avenue. They're looking to hire 200 people. Everybody from cashiers to cafeteria managers are all needed. You need to bring an ID. Interviews will be done right there on the spot. Good luck.